All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm on my third launcher. I'll have one more after this, and I just got this 40 kills, leveling this up to level 11. I don't know if this is called the Yawker, the Joker. I don't know, I'm just gonna call it the Joker. And then all I have to do now is get two kills without dying 10 times, and this is usually double kills. I don't know how many times I actually just hit one each with a bullet. So we'll jump on into shipment. It's no longer the naughty list. It's just shipment 24-7. And you guys will see me get this one gold and I'll probably rage a little bit and struggle and I'm going to talk about this gun a little bit, this launcher. And I'll give you guys a couple tips that I've found helpful. Some that I've tested myself and some that I've just thought of that I haven't really tried in other uh, areas. So uh, we'll get into the video. My number one tip right off the bat is to just throw smoke. So you can also do this toggle feature to see if anyone's over there. Uh, I don't really even bother using that because I, I just want to try to get off as many shots as I can with this thing. It only comes with two. Like there's a kill there, but I don't have, to, I need to get another kill. See if I can get that one. Just lay down in the smoke, put in some shots so they can't see me. And hopefully that counts as one. I'll kind of ride, have my other gun around just so I'm not so bored and I'm running around. Hey, and there's a double kill. So that's when the biggest thing to help me is to just throw smokes. And then if you're playing only shipment, like it's kind of hard. Like you can read the spawns the best you can, but it takes so long to get this shot off that I kind of just like, I try to just get in one of those corners, one of those sweet spots, and sometimes there won't be anybody there, sometimes there will. It's all about, for me, just being able to get both shots off in the same life. I consider that a success, whether I get a kill or not. If you really cared about getting this done as efficiently as possible, there's two other things I would say to do. One, I would say try to play hard point as much as possible, because then you could just go for the hard point, because you know people are going to be there, you know they're going to be cluttered, and you'll get as much kills as fast as possible. So if you still want to play shipment only, you could honestly just back out every time it's not a hard point. But also, I one thing that I haven't done, but I feel like would be a really good thing to do, is just go play hard point in general. I don't feel like this one is super necessary to play on shipment only. This is just the way I decided to do it. I feel like it would actually go quicker if you played just hard point and just made sure you hit them in the hard point and you just aimed in. You could do my smokes thing. I just got a double double kill there, so I think I got five to go. You could also do things like I have a trophy system if you wanted to put on like a deployable cover. I have the munitions box just because if I can get a kill and I still have no ammo, I can throw it down and try to get one more shot off. I'm sure people do stuff like They'll use the deployable cover, they'll throw a trophy, they'll probably throw a smoke, and just make it so you're as covered as possible. But it, that's that's like when team deathmatch is really hard to play because there's always gonna be spawn flips so fast. Uh, domination definitely is a little easier with that, but you don't get as many, I think, people bunched together because there's really only one angle. I think it's on the C flag side to be able to shoot onto that B dom site. And I've noticed that being really inconsistent. I don't know if it's because the missile lands on the top of the crate or something, but I've had so much more luck just going for the corners of shipment and just playing hard point in general. This has been probably the most difficult thing for me to do. Again, 40 kills is not that tough. And this challenge, like I just got two there. So that's another one. Like you'll luck into them like that. But to me, it's just been about leveling this gun up in general was the slowest. Like I would level this gun up like three quarters or one level a game just because I just would not be getting any kills with it. I was actually having such a tough time using this gun and just not having fun that I was like, you know what, let's stream this. That'll give me something to do. So as always, my stream is going to be in my uh, description below if you guys ever want to hang out. I still don't have any sort of set schedule or like when I do it, just sort of when I have free time. And I was like, wow, this is the most boring gun for people to watch is me shooting this launcher. And I was so confused how to even use it right off the bat. And also another like little random tip that I don't know how much it's going to help you, but what it helps me is when I do fire a shot into like one of these corners, I then make sure I don't push that side because I don't want to like get, I'm running around with a red gun, you can do a riot shield, but I don't want to run and kill guys that my missile might actually get so i always try to go the other way and pretty much just rush out there and maybe i could actually flip spawn so they spawn underneath where my launcher is gonna be that's pretty much all i have for tips for this i'm sorry nothing is like groundbreaking but i'm not really a tips and tricks videos guy i just like to because i know people are going for the same things that i am uh and i kind of just like to see what helped me whether it only be a little bit or a lot that's kind of just like the things that i've noticed have made this at least tolerable because when i wasn't doing the smoke strategy i couldn't even get two shots off i could barely get one one shot off and I was trying to like play close corners and I would like blow myself up on the barrel or like on the crates and I was just getting flanked every time so this is the one thing that's actually really helped me and like I said I'm only getting team deathmatch in these videos but I would definitely recommend if you want to stick with shipment you could back out if you don't get a hard point or what I think actually might be better just go play hard point I don't even think the map matters and this guy's just gonna be in my face so I can't get a shot off fantastic 
Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off! Oh, I can't stand this game. I feel like this gun, when someone like walks into your sight and messes up where it's aiming, like it'll move where it's supposed to auto lock. I, I, and it's so annoying. Like, just get the shot off. I don't care how inaccurate it is. I don't care if it even gets me a kill. I just want to get them both off and move on with my next life. One thing I'm curious about, when it says I have to get two kills in one life, does it mean like I have to stay alive while both of those are happening? Or is it just like the launchers I shoot in that life? Like if I shoot both launchers, I get one kill and then I die. And then I get another kill from that launcher after I die. Does that count? I think it has to because I don't feel like I've gotten enough uh, otherwise to be at like six or seven, whatever I'm at right now. Two more. I need two more with the, my least favorite launcher I've done. And then I just have to, I can't tell if this Strela one is a glitch that I have to level it up one more. I already got a gold. And then it's the RPG, which is going to feel so easy going to me that I just get to manually shoot a launcher again. So much easier. Let's get two more. And let's do this within our first two lives would be ideal. But I know that's not going to happen. But please be quick. I haven't even gotten close in this game. I think I've gotten one kill and one hit marker. Is that two? Does that count? I just got two. Yeah! Yes! And I was going to say I'll just back right out of this, but this game's almost over, so let's just try to get the final kill. Nope, I'll get pooped on. Eh, all right. Who cares? I got it. Yay! The funny thing about using that launcher is, like, sometimes I forget I still have a shot in the air. Like, I died, and that one was super delayed. That was, like, 10 seconds after I even shot one, and all of a sudden I just landed. So, and there she is, this ugly, ginormous thing. I hope some of my... T is that it for showing it off? That's all it does. You just hold it up. Oh, I didn't even notice the grips on the bottom. I hope some of these tips helped you guys. Uh, I know it wasn't a lot, but just a little bit. And uh, I got one more launcher to do. You'll probably see that RPG in the video tomorrow. Uh, and then we're going to start moving on to all the platinum stuff. So uh, we're making progress. We're getting there. Just remember, if you guys did enjoy the video, to please leave a like. I've been loving getting more comments lately. You guys can always comment. I'm always going to respond to my comments. It's the best part of my day is getting to interact with a little community we're starting to build here. So uh Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and thank you all for watching.